later in this video. So that's a yes? Yes. Mal, will you marry me? And do you, Mal, take Zevon to be your lawfully wedded husband? Besties, think Poseidon you're here. Okay, there's some serious high school drama going down, and here's the tea. Jafar sent Jay a magic lamp made out of the Digitalis stone, which ended up sending the descendants to this alternate universe where they're stereotypical high school students? Whoa, what just happened? The mishandling of the lamp, of course, was all the original villain's plan to get the descendants out of the way, and the only way to get back is solving all these clues and riddles. The only way out? is to answer questions based upon that simulation. What, like an escape room in real life? Mal cheerleader? Wait a second, this must all be a part of the riddle that we have to solve to get out of here. Typical. Anyway, I was on my way back to the computer lab to input everyone's high school stereotype when Principal Maleficent, I mean, don't even get me started, threw me in detention. And I do believe you're out of class without permission. So I think this calls for Detention! The only bright spot in here is this riddle on this chalkboard. I think this is my ticket out of here. Besties, make sure you smash that like button if you think we can figure this out. Okay, CJ, focus. Besties, look, I found them. I almost had one convinced to become a wisp. I was so close. Has anyone else had success turning people into fairies? OMG, besties, I think we were right from the last video. I think they're trying to turn more people into fairies, not just descendants and princesses. Do you remember those symbols that we saw? What's this? Another fairy circle! Maybe these symbols are clues as to who they're going after next. You guys left a lot of great comments in the last video as to who you think it might be, but make sure you put them in this video too so we can try to save those people before these fairies get to them. Well, none of it will even matter if we don't find the most powerful fairy. She's the one with the ultimate power. She's right. We have to find her. Besties, who do you think they're talking about? A super powerful fairy? If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And also make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any clues. Wait, do you hear something? Oh, that's not good. Okay, so this riddle on the chalkboard says, you can always find me in the past, I can be created in the present, but the future can never taint me, what am I? Besties, you guys put so many great answers in the comments, and the general consensus was that this is about school history in particular, because it's about time, right? Okay, let's see if we can see any history books in here. Oh wait, here's a book about Paris. Ha, oh, Perry, the beret is the croissants, the accordions. I've always wanted to go to Paris, but alas, it's a landlocked city. Okay, I'm getting off topic. I have been in the simulation for way too long. Wait a second, you guys, this isn't even a real book. You need a code to get in. Ugh, always a code. Okay, um, have you guys seen any codes lying around? Wait a second, you guys did see one that you were putting in the comments of the last video. If I remember correctly, it was nine, four, eight? We're in. Oh, and there's a remote? Um, okay, I, I guess I'll try pressing the power button? OMG, you guys, it worked! We did it! Okay, I'm off to the computer lab to put in everyone's stereotypes. If you guys have any last minute thoughts about what everyone's stereotype is, make sure you put it in the comments. So, we have a deal. I pledge my loyalty to the Chaos Crew and you make me king of my very own kingdom while simultaneously making Ben poor and taking away all of his former and future glory. That's not how we finalize deals around here. What? A gentleman's agreement isn't good enough for you? Are uh, you a gentleman? I resent that, but I guess I see where you're coming from. Whoa! Is that Jafar's? How did you manage that? We have our ways. Now, do you pledge loyalty to the Chaos Crew, binding in perpetuity until deemed irrelevant? You have to say it, dude. Oh, my bad. I do. It's done. I'll have my people call your people. Hey, Mom. You are never gonna believe this. Okay, it already has that Mount is a cheerleader, Evie is a theater kid, Audrey is a nerd, Jay is a class clown, 
Ben is a jock, Carlos is a gamer, and I am also a cheerleader. Did it work? How old is this computer? How I wish I was in Paris. Oh, thank goodness you're all back. You know, if anyone found out how many students I lose on a regular basis. You guys, that lamp put you all in an alternate reality. Jay, where did you even get that lamp? My dad sent it to me. When? Well, right after the masquerade ball. And you didn't find that a little sus? I mean, he had just locked us all in that ballroom. I mean, I thought he was just wishing me a happy birthday. Say what you want about my villainous father, but he never misses my birthday. But Jay, your birthday isn't for months. I thought he was trying to be early. Jeez, I'm sorry that I give people the benefit of the doubt, okay? Oh, sweet Jay, don't ever change, but do start running things by your friends. Your innocent heart may very well be the end of us. FG, where's Harry? Oh, he got away, pulled the old tap one shoulder, run the other direction trick on me. Works every time. Bessie's put prank in the comments if you've ever pulled that trick on someone. I'm gonna go find him and catch back up with Phantom Red. Stay away from Enchanted Lamps, okay guys? Sure thing, CJ, and thanks. Anytime. See ya. Hello? Oh, wait, okay, slow down. Okay, I'll, I'll be right there. You guys, I have to go. It's about the spirit stones. Wait, Mal, this time I'm definitely going with you. Whoa, Bessies, what do you think that's about? Let us know in the comments. Well, 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 I knew you'd come back to me, my darling. Zevon, we've been through this. I am not your darling. Au contraire, mon bonmi. You don't speak French, do you? Silencio, you peasant. <laughs> peasant? Yes, and this brings me to my point. Finally, Mal, you want a king? Well, now you have one. Yeah, Ben. What? No. Listen, it's me. The Chaos Crew is giving me my own kingdom, and now you can be my queen. Zevon, I don't want to be your queen. I'm just not that into you, dude. But I thought you liked Ben because he was a king. No, I like Ben because he's Ben. Well, are you sure about that? Um, was something supposed to happen there? Uh, hello, is this thing on? Testing, one, two, three. It works! Not only did the Chaos Crew agree to make me a king, they also agreed to take away Ben's kingdom, making him broke, penniless, darlingless. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't take away my kingdom? Au contraire, Miami. You should really take French. The Chaos Crew is rewriting history, Ben. It's about time that you caught up. Here, Mal, let me show you what life would be like if you married me, a king, versus Ben, a nothing. No, Mal, you don't have to play his games. Mal? Hello? Ha ha ha! Laugh out loud. Literally. She's in a virtual world now, Ben, seeing how great life would be with moi and how terrible it would be with you. But that's not fair. You're controlling all of it. Yeah, duh. <laughs> that's kind of the whole point. Hit the road, Jack. You know what? Actually, here's a quarter for you. It's the least I could do. Now, back to my sweets. What is going on in that beautiful mind of yours? It's the rarest diamond mined from the Sea of Tranquility. That's right, the one and only Moon Diamond. The moon from my star. It's incredible. So that's a yes? <laughs> Just kidding, of course it is. I mean, look at that rock. Yes, it's a yes. Now, uh, thanks for coming on this walk with me. Of course, Ben. Simple pleasures, am I right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, speaking of, I don't have anything to give you but this. <laughs> ben, you're so funny. Oh my gosh, you're serious. Mal, will you marry me? Yeah, yes, we'll figure it all out. Remember my darling, pick any dress you desire. The sky's the limit. <laughs> or no, the moon, <laughs> my bad. All right, I'll leave you ladies to it. And you know what? Here, Evie, here's my credit card. And yep, it's one of those big heavy metal ones. Make sure my woman's taken care of, would ya? What do you think? Oh, Mal, it's perfect. But Zevon said you can actually pick out two dresses, one for the ceremony and one for the reception. So let's keep shopping. 
Okay. Besties, how many weddings have you been to? Let us know in the comments. It's not much, but it's been in my family for generations. It's the only nice thing we have left. Ta-da! It's a little stained, but but it's it's very nice. It'll work. I'll help with the stains. It'll be okay. Mmm. So, what do you think, my darling? Mm. I think that everything was divine. Okay, so for the reception hors d'oeuvres, we'll go with the Cranberry Cristinis, grilled oysters, a Bruzzo grape focaccia, and, well, you pick one, my darling. Um, the mozzarella sticks. Besties, what's your favorite appetizer? Let us know in the comments. Uh, fried cheese? Are you sure? Okay, fried cheese for my main squeeze. <laughs> and for the wedding cake, we're thinking 12 tiers. Actually, you know what? Make it 15. Is that too... Over the top? <laughs> no such thing. So I was thinking if we keep foraging for fruit and berries, maybe Evie could help us make a few pies for the reception. I know it's not a huge wedding cake, but it'll still be sweet. Oh, okay, so I kind of get to have my hand in making my own wedding cake. That's pretty cool, I guess. That's the spirit. <sighs> this is taking forever. Where do you think Mal and Ben could have gone? Man, it seems like that girl's always disappearing these days. It's from Eugene. Um, what's a Eugene? Sorry, Flynn. He's working undercover with Rapunzel, and he just found out that the Chaos Crew granted Zebon power and a kingdom, and he's using both of those now to try to convince Mal to be his queen. That little snake. He thinks Zebon told Mal to meet him at the flying field. Um, you guys, I have something I have to go do. Now you too? What is it that you have to do? Um, it's nothing yet. Bye. Talk about always disappearing. I mean, what's going on with her? Bessie's got any ideas on what is up with Audrey? Do you think she's acting super sus? Again? Let us know in the comments. In the meantime, let's get to that flying field. And do you, Mal, take Zebon to be your lawfully wedded husband, to laugh at his hilarious jokes forever, to never correct him when he pronounces words wrong, and to never get sick of him calling you my darling. Before you answer, I have one more surprise for you. I hired Harry Styles to play our reception. <laughs> because I'm so rich, I can do anything. But I mean, it's all for you, my darling. <laughs> okay, you may proceed. Well, that's pretty much it. We need an answer now, Mal. And you, Mal, take Ben to be your husband, even though he has nary a kingdom nor a sixpence to his name, even though you will be foraging for berries your whole life, even though you'll never be a queen, and you'll never see Harry Styles perform live? What in the magic mirror is going on over here? Remotio! What? What happened? Hey, no fair, that was my spell. I worked hard on that. Boo-hoo, what are you gonna do, call your mommy? Wah, wah. Whoa, Evie, simmer. I'm sorry, I get very aggressive when people mess with my best friend. Well, whatevs, the work should be done by now anyway. Now, what do you say, my darling? Live a grand, exciting life with me and Harry Styles? Harry Styles? Or live in eternal squalor with the bum? Zevon, you just don't get it. I will choose Ben any day, in any situation. It's not about money, it is about true love. And I will never love you, not in a million years or a million different scenarios. My heart belongs to Ben. Uh, now this is some... Excuse me. Papa? Everyone thinks that my subject can just be passed around like a game of hot potato and ugh, teens these days playing pretend with a bunch of enchanted objects. I swear that villainy is not what it used to be. Now give me that. Hey, you can't take that from me. I'm a king. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you don't just become king like that. Trust me, I've tried. And you? Happy Blade. But. But my mom says I can be anything that I want to be. Oh, well, in that case, we can't disappoint her. <laughs> well, my work here is done. Jay, don't forget family dinner next week. We need to start planning your birthday. All right, bye-bye. See? Told you. Birthdays are sacred. This isn't fair. I made a deal. You all wait until the CC King hears about this. You're all ruining my Cooper de Pa. He is really butchering the French language. Hey, Mom, can you come pick me up? Mal, thanks for choosing me. Always. All right, we get it, you two love birds. Whoa. 
I of all people know this move. This must be from CC Yellow. It says, don't trust Audrey? Besties, what do you think this means? I thought we already figured out the Audrey situation. Unless we got it wrong? Oh, hey there, CJ. Audrey? <laughs> Looks just like a city of pine.